Hey guys! Sorry if the fan in the background is distracting you during this video, but I didn't feel like moving my laptop. So since it's Thursday, it's time for my weekly vlog. I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to um, do the next couple of weeks of vlogs, and I think I've figured out what I'm going to do. So since it's almost our anniversary, and also because today is the wedding day of one of my friends, Monica, who you probably all know, um, I thought that I would talk about my own wedding. We were engaged in February of 2011, and we were married in October of 2011. So yeah, that wasn't very much time to plan a wedding. And technically, we didn't even pick out a venue until August of 2011. So we had two months to get everything in order, which meant sending out invitations, getting dresses and suits and flowers, and other decorations, and food, and all kinds of stuff. Because weddings are a big deal. You may not think so, but once you start thinking of all these things you need, and you have to have them done as quickly as possible, it gets kind of crazy. So first off, we had to pick a venue, a place to have the wedding, and possibly the reception. And wedding venues can be very expensive, just like anything dealing with weddings. You tell someone that you're buying flowers for a wedding and they're going to up the price by like, I don't know, 50% or more. Um, you go to get a wedding cake and they're going to be a lot more expensive than just a regular cake. So yeah, uh, lots of fun stuff. So we were trying to save as much money as possible. We found a venue, which was at an um, archaeological park, which is kind of strange, and we both thought that it would be pretty neat to have it there. Plus, it was right by a river, and there was a nice little place that we could have a reception, and we could have it outside in October when it's not really too terribly hot. So we got the place, which was fairly inexpensive, and that was awesome, and then I had to go get a dress. So let me tell you, wedding dress shopping? Not a fun ordeal. First of all, I got there and I didn't really know what I was looking for. I'm not one of these people who has planned their wedding since they were, you know, five years old. Because I don't really care. I'm not that much of a girly girl. So yeah, I was not one of those people. Um, so the first thing you do is you go in and you tell them when your wedding is going to be. And of course, when I told them my wedding was going to be in October, and it was already August, they were like, oh boy, you're probably not going to be able to find a dress. We go in there and the people are just constantly coming up to me going, what kind of dress do you want? What kind of dress do you want? I don't know anything about fashion. Look at me, I'm wearing a t-shirt with a caffeine molecule. I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, luckily I had my best friend, who was also my maid of honor, and my other bridesmaid, and my mom, and my grandmother, and my future mother-in-law, all there together with me to help me pick out a dress. So, that really helped. Um, so I could kind of explain to Katie, my best friend, who was the maid of honor, I could kind of explain to her, well, I want it to look kind of like this, and she knew what it was because she had actually worked in a dress shop before. So then you have all of these dresses that you have to try on, and they throw you into this dressing room, and you have to strip down in front of this woman that you've never met your entire life, and I'm a very modest person. This was scary for me. <sighs> so I'm like, trying to cover bits of myself that I don't want seen, and <laughs> it was not fun, uh, yeah, but I found a dress that I really liked, and everybody that was with me was like, that is the perfect dress, so since I agreed with them, that's the one that we got. Of course, we also had to figure out who was going to be in the wedding party, and I have been friends with my maid of honor since I was like three years old. We've been friends forever. So of course she was going to be my maid of honor. So I asked her to be and she was like, yes, of course, accepted. And then Kevin started deciding on his groomsmen. And he would have a habit of going to the bar and getting drunk and asking strangers, complete strangers, to be his groomsmen. And I had to put a stop to that. 
who are your groomsmen? Well, there's metal guy and there's that other guy. <laughs> it's like, no, if you don't know their names, they can't be in the wedding, okay? When he first started picking people out, like three of his groomsmen were women, <laughs> which was strange. But uh, I kind of stole one of his groomsmen and brought her over to be a bridesmaid because I didn't want it to be like, okay, Kevin has 15 groomsmen and Krista has a maid of honor. And that's all. So I took one of his groomsmen. And about a week or two before the wedding, he and his best man, who was a girl, um, got into kind of a fight. And he had to get a new best man, which was just one of his groomsmen that got moved up. So he ended up having four groomsmen and I had two bridesmaids. So it was a little mismatch, but that was okay. And of course, we didn't know any preachers, really, to perform the wedding. So we got one of our friends to... Um, be ordained online and she performed the wedding so that was interesting so really the last thing that we had to worry about was the cake and since wedding cakes can be very expensive and i watched a couple of youtube videos and thought hey i could do this myself i made my own wedding cake yeah so um that was interesting and um and it almost turned into a complete disaster and here's why I had a bachelorette party. Yes, Kevin had a bachelor party, but his was pretty tame, I suppose. But I had a bachelorette party, and some of my girlfriends took me out to several of the bars around town. Okay, technically we only made it to two bars. But um, I was doing fine until my friend Casey came along, and she uh, kept throwing shots in my face. <laughs> Not literally in my face. But yeah, uh, I got very sick after that night and um, came very close to, to vomiting in someone's car. Uh, it was a disaster. And the next day was our rehearsal dinner and I was supposed to be making the cake. And I didn't wake up until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And when I did, I was very, very dizzy and hungover. Drinking is bad. Getting drunk is a terrible idea. Just so you know. Yeah, I had to bake a cake and get ready for a rehearsal dinner. Luckily, I didn't have to fix anything for that. My cake, I think I got maybe one layer of it cooked that night. And luckily, I had already made the frosting and made some of the other stuff that I was going to be using beforehand before my party because that would have been even worse so the morning of the wedding we woke up and had to go to get the keys so that we could get into the building and start setting up for the reception and of course I had to stop by and get my flowers and all of that stuff so we started setting up tables and chairs and everything getting stuff ready and um, I came back home and finished my cake thank goodness Except for some of the toppings. I didn't get to put the toppings on until I actually got to the venue and I had to set up my own cake, which was interesting. And there are pictures of this. And um, yeah, it was kind of crazy, but we got it all done and the wedding went off without a hitch. So, of course, we got gifts for the wedding party, and uh, mine wasn't really that great. It was a little bit of jewelry, and I got them flasks with their names on them. But Kevin got his groomsmen and the officiator swords so yeah they had swords and engraved on it was kevin and kevin versus krista actually i believe is what it said and then the date of our wedding and at the end of the reception when we were going to get in our car instead of throwing rice um people had bubbles so kevin's groomsmen um held up their swords and we ran under and bubbles were flying everywhere and it was really cute and it was kind of like a little fairy tale thing. So after that happened we went to the bar where we first met. Yeah we had a big party at the bar and there was dancing and fun and so yeah that's it. Everything went pretty much according to plan. Um, the only a really unexpected thing that happened was my dad started crying in the middle of the ceremony and that was weird because I've I'm not sure I've ever seen my dad cry before so yeah my dad cried at my wedding um, it was very interesting 
Anyway, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the pictures and the stories that went along with them. And um, I guess that's all. And next week, I think I will tell you guys about the honeymoon in Vegas and our trip around different states while we were there. We had so much fun. And I'll show you some pictures from that too. And I guess that's it. So um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.